Perry Riley and his wife have been keeping bees for over a decade. Well, she wanted one hive, and we got one off of a neighbor, and we got interested in it, so we thought we'd try another, and we ended up with 65. <laughs> of those 65, Riley now has 12 he raises on his 40-acre land in Vigo County, chemical-free. You don't need chemicals to raise bees because chemicals kill bees. And, and about, you got to have a proper hive and you got to learn how to treat them. Senate Enrolled Act 529 says beekeeping can no longer be prohibited on property that a person owns, rents, or leases. Additionally, Terre Haute recently passed an ordinance allowing beekeeping, which made it possible for one resident to start two hives in his backyard. My interest in beekeeping mostly started as fascination and curiosity. I randomly came across something on YouTube about it. And just the new law says beekeeping can be regulated by the amount of hives on a property, but Thompson says that can be avoided. A, a good beekeeper needs to monitor the activity of the hive and know when to turn one hive into two hives. Though beekeeping may not be for everyone, there are ways the community can help keep them alive. Uh, main thing is plant things around your house for meat. The easiest thing you can do is just stop spraying weed killer on your lawn. 